Bands like Metallica, bands like Slayer. Got to do it with Pantera twice. Let me tell you, in two tours, you can get a lot of dumb bad Daryl stories. Because he would just kind of drag you into this vortex of insanity that would go on until 8 a.m. in the morning. You'd just be on a roller coaster, right? <laughs> throwing your hands up every once in a while. So, the, uh, the last time that we all got to see Dimebag was at a festival over in the UK called the Download Festival. We were the damage plan and they were getting ready to open on one of the side stages and we were on the main stage. Well, something happened on the main stage and one of the bands, two or three bands down before us, couldn't make it and so Damage Plan got bumped by the promoters to be at the earlier slot. Well, little did Damage Plan know when they were coming, crossing the ferry over to the UK that they decided at 6 a.m. in the morning, Dimebag instigated that it, they would all get absolutely annihilated on the ferry ride over, thinking, oh yeah, we got till 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. to sleep. So they get hammered, drink till 10, 30, 11, pull up to download, thinking they can sleep for a while, promoter knocks on the door, hey, uh, you guys are on in two hours. I'm like, Ugh. So they drive them over to our area, to where the main stage is, and these dudes just pour out and just haggard is all fucking shit. They just... So we're sitting there and so the dude's like, we got like 15 minutes, he sees me and he's just like, brother, can I warm up on your guitar for a little while? And I was like, fuck yeah, give me some of your magic here, you know? We'll for me later. So... He wears a big one out, of course, because he's a freak. He just plays perfectly. This is, this is a goddamn note. They're fucking awesome. We hang out. We exchange numbers at the end of the night. And it's, and it's a cool thing. And as we go on the rest of that year... Say that Antonio, Texas, for our brother Dimebag. For your 